Hi, everybody. So, of course, you know me with my thoughts. So, today I did, um, I'll give everybody a couple minutes to get on because this is, what I have to talk about today is very important. Um, I actually had that, a conversation about this topic twice today. So, it made me realize how important the topic was. So, I see that we have a couple people on. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. But how powerful our mind is. Um, had a wonderful lunch with a girlfriend of mine today, and we were talking about that too. Um, we were talking about how different I am to the person that she remembers back when I was married with the kids, um, with their father, and, and the totally different person that I am now today, and it's really all about the mindset change. So, oops, sorry. So, um, we were talking about how powerful the mind is. I was actually talking to one of my aunts. Hey, Rocky, one of my aunts about the, the power of our mind. Oh, and guys, check out. I got my Tinkerbell shirt on. How cool is this? I don't sweat. It's pixie dust. <laughs> I love my shirt. Uh, anyways, it's, it was a Facebook tank top. Somebody had tagged me in the post. Um, so I bought it because it has Tinkerbell. Um, anyway, so power of the mind. So... Our mind can work for us or it can totally work against us. Hi, Natalie. Um, so what I mean by that. Okay. Negativity, right? It's here. Whether it's how you're brought up or the people that you're surrounding yourself with, people that you talk to, things like that. It's all in your mind, right? So if, okay, if for instance, you're always thinking of the negative, like things are going good in life. So have you ever told yourself this saying of, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop? I know I have. Um, that's negative mindset. That's already setting yourself up for a failure to happen. So how about instead of that, how about you focus on all the good things that are happening and all the good that is going on um, and not worry about that other shoe actually dropping. So. That's what I mean by the power of your mind and how it could work for you or it could work against you. So if you are constantly pouring positivity into your mind, whether it's through reading, whether it's through listening to audiobooks, whether it's through listening to a motivational speaker like Tony Robbins or um, Gary Vaynerchuk, whether it's any of those, hi Nicole, um, all that positivity coming in that's what's going to continue to happen. You're only going to deal with the positive. Yes, bad things are still going to happen. It's not like reading a book is going to make your life all rainbows and butterflies. But it's all in the mindset. Think of this. You're starting your journey. Okay? If you keep telling yourself all the excuses of why you can't do it and why it will not work, let me tell you something. You're not going to do it and it's not going to work because that's what you're telling yourself and that's what your mind is absorbing. All the reasons why not. Instead of thinking of all the reasons why not, think of all the reasons why you should or why it will happen. You know, you're starting on a health and fitness journey. Okay, I was talking to a challenger. You know, we all have a lot on our plates. You know, my plate is usually overflowing up off every edge of the plate. It's not like overflowing on one side and the other side is perfectly fine. Overflowing all over. But you know what? There are things that I know I want in life and things that I know I deserve to have in my life and I'm going to bust my ass to get it. And that's my mindset. Hi, Caesar. How are you? So that's my mindset. So... If there's something you want and you know you deserve it, if you know this is something for you, that, hey, stop it. The dogs are going crazy. She sounds like a gremlin. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> She's been out of the house with me all day, so she comes home and has to act crazy with the other dogs. Um, so you need to stop getting in your own way when there's things that you want to attack in life and things that you want to do in your life. You need to stop thinking of, I can't because, I can't because, or now I have this, so I can't do this. No, absolutely not. Your mindset should be, I deserve to give myself at least 20 minutes a day to do something for me. Whether it's going for a walk, whether it's pressing play with a workout, whether it's reading a book, whether it's laying in a lounge chair and taking your phone and throwing it in another room and, no, and nobody being able to contact you for 20 minutes. Whatever it is you want to do for you, you deserve it. And you need to let your mind know that. And you need to put that in your mind. Stop putting yourself last and stop making yourself feel that you are least important in your life. 
So that's what I mean when I say the mind can work for us or against us. If you're constantly pouring in the positive in your mind and constantly taking the positive into your soul and into your life, your life is going to be more positive. You're going to realize all the things that you can do and all the things that you should do. Um, continue with the negative. And of course, if you keep telling yourself, oh, well, I'm not going to start that. Why would I start my own business? It's never going to work. Why would I do that? Hi, Tara. So if you take your, it's all about mindset. Um, like for me, for instance, when I started this business, I knew from the beginning what I wanted, what I needed to do to get it, because I picked the brain of all the top people to find out what I needed to do to get to the, the point that I want to be at. And once I hit that point, then I found out, okay, now I want to go to this point. What do I have to be at? And I set my mind to it. This is what I'm going to do. Um, and, and once my mind was set, I was good. You know, yes, there are hard days, absolutely. But you know what? That doesn't matter. Yes, it matters to a point of, you know, whether you're going to get through it and how you're going to get through it. But if you have that strong, positive mind, you don't want a strong, negative mind. You want a strong, positive mind. And when you have that strong, positive mind, you're going to get through those hurdles a lot better. I visual visualize hurdles as uh, the negative trying to see how bad I really want what I'm striving for. How quickly will I give up on myself? How quickly will I give up on what I want? So when I see those obstacles, yes, at first I go to the old Tanya that's like, you know, do I give up and do I keep doing this? And then I remember what I want, where I want to be, because the strong part of the mind comes back, the positive of the mind comes back and reminds me of why the hell I'm doing what I'm doing. And then you push through. Those obstacles are put in your path for a purpose. Those obstacles are put in your path to see if you really, really, truly want the goal that you set for yourself and if you do nothing I mean nothing is gonna stand in your way absolutely nothing I see a couple things written here hold on my journal assignment today was to write a letter to myself to open up 12 weeks to see if I reached all of my goals I set Tara I love that I absolutely love that assignment we need to do that as a group as a team Maybe you could post about how the assignment is and all the details of it in our team page because I think that's something that the whole team could benefit from. I love that assignment. Good morning, Kimberly, or good afternoon, I should say, afternoon here. Um, so I just wanted to remind everyone, it's, it's here. You want to start a new nutrition plan? You want to eat better? You need to start here first, in the mind. If you don't get your mind set to what you want to go do, it's not going to happen. Because you're going to do it for a couple days and then you're going to give up. Because you know what? It takes hard work and dedication to hit any goal that you're striving for. So you need to get the mindset first. You need to get the mindset of where you want to go and what you want to do and make sure it is positive. And then you have to keep filling your cup. I call it my positivity cup. I have to fill it every day because I'm always putting out and I'm emptying my cup. I need to refill it back. So that's my personal development. That's when I listen to my audiobooks in the morning. That's when I sit down and read in the morning if I have time. So for me, that's how I refill my cup. So you constantly have to be refilling your cup. Constantly. Um, Kimberly, let me help you. I know you want to do it. You can do it. Me and you chat all the time. This is something you can definitely do. And it is all in your mindset. Absolutely. Hi, Kristen. Um, so it's all in your mindset. So don't have the negative mindset. Have that positive mindset and keep going. If there's an obstacle, look at the obstacle. Figure out how you're going to get around it to still get to that goal. It's like the game of Donkey Kong when he keeps throwing. The, the, the goal was to get all the way at the top where the ape is, right? But they keep throwing those barrels of obstacles in the way and obstacles in the way. You're not going to give up. You're going to just keep jumping over that obstacle and go, go, go and jump over the obstacle and keep going. And that's how life should be like the game of Donkey Kong. You have a goal to get to the top and to grab bananas on the way and to not get hit by a barrel. Right? So once you start getting negative, like, oh, this game is too hard. I'm never going to make it to the top. Well, you know what? With that attitude, you're not going to make it to the top. You have to have that positive mind. You have to tell yourself you're going to make it to the top and get yourself there. So rant over. I just wanted to remind you guys how strong um, I used to play Donkey Kong all the time. So I had to reference Donkey Kong because I don't know. It just came to my mind. Um, hi, Rebecca. 
So, um, and Rebecca, I'm going to be sending you a message. So check your Facebook Messenger because we need to chat and get you started. We kind of started. I want to talk some more. I know we chatted over the phone and stuff like that, but I want to talk some more with you. Um, so I don't want to rant too much more with you guys, but I do want to, I, I just wanted to remind you that. I just wanted to remind you that it's all here, guys. It starts at the top, which is our mind. Once our mind is set on something, that's it. Like, think of yourself with certain things in life. Once your mind is set on something you want to do that day, don't you do it? If your mind is set, like, it is Friday night. I'm going out with my girls. I'm going to drink. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to dance. Your mind is set on it. It's done. That's it. And that's what you end up doing. So set your mind on positive things and make it happen. Have a great rest of your day, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.